Okay guys, welcome back to Resurrection Auto. Christian is just creeping. So, basically, oh, yeah, oh, he's fender. showing off the fender. So, we kind of mounted up the box there. Um, I started to deal with the inside there and relocating the gas, or the, the gas fill tube there, I can't think of the name. Anyways, that's right there now. Um, I cut fenders in half and going to widen them out. Started stretching the box yesterday. Um, I didn't take any video of cutting the fender because I didn't really think that there was going to be much time put into this one today, but looks like we should start taking some video. So we're going to stretch the fenders. It looked like it was going to be about 10 inches wider. Um, after we get them stretched, we're going to have to move them down and then uh, get it set a little better, make some running boards up, all that jazz. But we'll uh, start with getting them widened. Okay guys, here we have the driver's side fender widened. So that's 10 inches wider. Um, I don't know, it's just, as you can see, we're just cutting the stuff off a thin sheet of eight by 12, 22 gauge using our throatless shears from Harbor Freight. Boom, they work pretty nifty. And then all the bending for the body lines was just done on the side of the bed here because it's good and round. So, um, I don't know, all things considered, I'm pretty happy with it. But the other side hasn't even been started. So I have to go over there, hack that side in half and then uh, do the same thing. But I don't know, I think it looks a heck of a lot better already. We uh, are kind of in debate on bagging it or whatnot. So we're kind of not thinking, we're thinking we're not going to end up dropping those fenders down like we had originally said. Cause they sit about the same as the front as far as the wheel arch on the tire. You know, if we drop that lower, I think it's gonna look funky, but we'll see what happens. Welcome back to Resurrection Auto. Uh, it's been a little bit since we've uh, posted about this guy here. So I'm going to give you a rundown of kind of what we've done. Um, it is running and driving now. Uh, so let's show you. So we got to get a different battery because that one's way too big to fit underneath all of our stuff. But um, today I got the radiator hoses done. Doo -doo -doo. Um, like I said, it runs and it drives. I haven't taken it like down the road or anything, but driven it on and off the trailer a couple times. We took it out to a show. Um, and yeah, you know, this is, uh, this is what we've got so far. The drive shaft's in obviously because it runs and drives. Um, got a belt. Um, the only thing left to do really on this thing is the alternator and that's about it. I mean, all we gotta do is just run the wires for it. And then boom, it's done. This thing can go down the road, but you now this is uh, this is pretty much where we're at. You know, it took a lot longer than we wanted it to, but like we've said in the past, we are a uh, 
regular automotive shop. So, you know, that kind of stuff comes first and this, this stuff comes second. But this thing is ready to get sent down the road, which is uh, very exciting for us. So we're pretty, pretty happy about it. And yeah, it's just, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be a sad day to see it go, but it'll, we'll be smiling watching it leave, so. Also, I wanna to touch base with you on our next project here, which happens to be this 66 Chevrolet Caprice. Um, that one I think you guys are gonna like a lot. We were gonna put the small block in it and turbo 350 trans, but then we set it in there and we're like, man, there's a lot of room in that engine bay. So we're going to be putting a 12 valve Cummins in it. Um, and I believe a, a 518 trans, I think is what it is. Um, I'll have to look, but, um, yeah, so that's going to be exciting. Stay tuned to watch that build. Uh, we will, you know, post videos of the whole build, uh, like we generally do. Uh, been a little slow with, you know, taking videos of that thing and stuff, just cause there's only been the last little piddly few things to do, like put the drive shaft in it. Um, then the uh, uh, alternator belt and water pump belt and all that kind of stuff, and then water, uh, coolant hoses. So that's pretty much it for that one. That's really gonna wrap up that, uh, that whole build. Um, and then, yeah, so now we're on to the next one. I do have another video coming shortly for the, um, for the uh, Cummins pickup truck build, that 50 or 51, whatever it is. I, we thought it was a 50, I guess it's a 51, um, cause we just got the title back for it. So it's 51 GMC. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much done for the most part. It needs glass and a few other little things buttoned up, like my, uh, brake switch and all that kind of stuff put on it. But for the time being, that one is pretty much done. We've been using it to pull, um, trailers and pick up vehicles and stuff like that and the thing works awesome so just stay tuned for more of that kind of stuff and uh, stay tuned for the caprice build because this thing's going to be pretty so this cool. is the caprice it's not real pretty but um it's got a lot of engine bay room so this thing's going to be sweet we put some different wheels on it and new tires because we're like oh we'll just put that small block in it nah we're gonna we're gonna put a commons in it so it's gonna be way cooler um, the interior in this thing's actually pretty decent. It's out of something else. It's got an Impala back seat. And then we've got, you know, front seats out of something else. They're power seats, uh, which is pretty nice. That's console shift. I don't think this was an original console shift car, but somebody put it in there. So it's pretty sweet. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this little update video. Um, you know, if you've got any questions about anything that we do here, feel free to ask. Uh, we'd be more than happy to give a hand and uh, you know, tell you more about the stuff or how we do it or whatever. So thanks for watching.